Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn that how we can make a API validations. So these are the points that we have to do in this video to cover this topic. So first of all, we have to make a controller router for it and make a model for the database connection. We have to write some code for validation. And after all, we will test this. And this scenario we will test with the postman and the database. All right. So now let's uh, first of all, I just want to show you my database here. You can see that YouTube is my database and there is a product table, products table. And in this uh, have some fields like name, category and price. So whenever I'm just going to hit some uh, data and want to save here, then I will uh, remove some fields like name or category. And after that, I will apply the validation and see that how a, uh, an API can return the error message also. So now let's see with the code. So first of all, I'm just going to make a controller and the router. Okay. So if you don't know how we can just add the database configuration, then you just have to open a dot env file and you just have to write the three configurations. That's all. Okay. So let's come back. First of all, I'm just going to make a model and my model name controller and my controller name should be the products php artisan make controller and controller name which is the products and i'm just going to hit it and now you can see that model is created so in the same case i i will going to make a model also in the model the name should be products because our table name is products so singular model name will be automatically detect the plural database table name okay so just write here model product and just hit the enter okay the model is already exist so maybe i just made it uh, sometime before so i'm just going to remove it first of all so I'm just going to make a new one. Uh, this one is the last one. So I'm just going to remove it from here and let's make a new one. Now you can see that we have a new model name with the products. Perfect. Okay. So now uh, let's uh, go with the next step, which is the router. So I need to just open first of all the HTTP controller and here i'm just going to refresh it first of all and you will find here products so in the products i'm just going to make a function which is the public function save or any name that you want to put here so you can write here and in this uh, function a request type of parameter will become in the variable of req perfect and after that i'm just going to open the api.php which is uh, actually exist inside the routes folder so let's open the routes the api.php and here i'm just going to make a new uh, route so just write here route and this uh, request will be the post and product product will my uh, controller name at the second parameter, I'm just going to take the products, the controller name at the rate save, which is my function name. Perfect. Now let's uh, try once. Uh, is it uh, fine or any issue? So I'm just going to write here post and localhost here in the API at the last. Just replace it with the product and see. There is nothing but 200 requests. That means the uh, routing and model is working fine. Now I'm just going to import two things here. First is my model. So my model is inside the app and product. Product is my model name. So uh, the second thing I have to use is validate validation. So I'm just going to import the validator and now I'm just going to write this uh, code for insert and after just checking that 
one value is inserting in database I will just apply the code for uh, validation so first of all I'm just going to take a variable with the name of product and it will be the new product this is the uh, instance of the model and here just write here dollar product name equal with dollar request name that means the data will come from the postman in the request and save inside the product table and just category same thing should be here and at the last price and just use the product table with the save function and now I am just going to send some data with the body like name the name can be like uh, Google or uh, category category can be like uh, web price price uh, actually web is priceless but uh, we can just like a uh, thousand dollar and just try to hit it okay there is some error let me check what is that error I think there is I just misspell here category some here um, let me check here yeah yeah I'll just misspell the category here uh, no worry now let's try once again now you can see that uh, the response is 200 that means some data is saved here just try to see it now you can see that this is saved here now let's say I am just going to remove the category form from here and trying to save it now it will give a uh, error violation all right so for that we have to make some validation and we have to uh, pop up some authenticate or proper validation message inside the uh, response all right so for that how we can do so first of all I just uh, need uh, validation check from all my categories or on which field I want to just put here all right so just take a variable name like valid is uh, validator with the comma make and it will have the two parameters one is dollar request and all all right that means it will going to check all the request and after that as in second parameter I'm just going to put an array and inside the array I can put the validations whatever I want to put so first of all let's say I just want to put the validation on category so I'm just going to put it here category and uh, it should be like uh, required okay so after that uh, just uh, we can leave it here for now and we have to check here if dollar valid uh, and it come with the function uh, fails uh, yes this is a function then we can return something here like we we can return uh, response and uh, this response uh, must have some uh, JSON response so uh, it have a property with a JSON function and inside it we have an array and in the array first parameter is whatever any message that we want to show like error and uh, error can be like uh, dollar valid and errors okay and this is also in function and in the second parameter I can just put the uh, response code like here you can see that the 500 so I'm just going to put here 401 okay so it will just showing that uh, if we just uh, uh, put something force then the request message should be the changed all right so let me check now and let's try to send it now you can see that 
uh, it will showing that category field is required but whenever i'm just going to remove the this field and apply the category then it will uh, send me the again violation so i can uh, just add the price here also if i want right so just put a comma here and okay so whenever i'm just going to hit it tell me that price should be uh, there that is that means it's required if i just remove the both of them then it will tell that category and price are required and here you can see that this is the authentication method so this is all about how you can provide the validation inside the uh, api if you still have any kind of query suggestion or uh, any demanded video on laravel or react or anything that you want to comment on my video then please put i and uh, like this video subscribe my channel bye bye take care